sympathy for the globalists, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, since the globalists appear to be taking over, I think maybe it's time we examine, um, well, I mean, from two perspectives, from the point of know thy enemy, and also, I mean, you know, if you want to understand something, you've got to kind of like look at it from their perspective. So this is one part one of the series, Sympathy for the Globalists, and it's going to be misanthropy and depopulation. Stick around. Sympathy for the Globalists, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it'll be an ongoing series where I try and examine the mindset of the globalists from their own perspective. Um, so it's going to be controversial, um, but this is what I think. This is what I think they think. So um, I think it's important to look at it uh, from a know thy enemy perspective, and um, you know it's also just important to look at it just to kind of think you know, where are these people coming from i think the important thing um one of the important things lesson one so to speak um to know about the globalists is that they're misanth misanthropes they hate humanity um they have achieved a kind of um wealth and power that has de you know developed within them a kind of hatred of humanity i mean whether you hear about brotherly love and and um i guess thoughts one might associate with christianity um and will think the exact opposite of that this is a group of people who absolutely hate humanity who think humanity is essentially worthless outside of a very small percentage which they would consider themselves a part of and they would also probably realize they would need the help of another small percent of people let's say they consider themselves the 0.01 percent and they would probably like uh one, another one percent who collaborate with them and then there's probably another 10 percent of people who they would consider their their servants or their um, um whatever you want to call them so this is what this is their worldview. I mean, these are people that, that, that dislike humanity, that they have no, um, you know, no uh, bowl of milk of human kindness, so to speak. And this is why I think they're interested in depopulation, um, because from misanthropy, it's quite an easy step to move to depopulation, um, which is an idea that, uh, uh, you know, essentially humanity needs to be culled. Now, I don't know whether this, this vaccine that they have touted is, is their way. I mean, surely they're not going to, be able to bump off 90% of humanity from one vaccine because uh, unless, the, unless they can vaccinate the planet um, within a year or two and then the effects of the vaccine don't kick in to say three or four years later, then it's possible that this could be the, 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 the catastrophe eugenic event. But I do believe, at least from their perspective of misanthropy, they are interested in some kind of eugenic solution and maybe just getting us used to uh, taking vaccines um you know and creating this situation where you have this ongoing crisis with a kind of covid that's going to continue to mutate so you're going to need new vaccinations each year maybe the original vaccine won't be so bad and that they will begin to slowly poison us as as we just get used to being vaccinated every once a year or twice a year or whatever the case may be so this is i think um part of their mindset and uh it comes from their worldview um i think they in relation to theology uh, obviously they aren't Christian, misanthropy is not a Christian belief. Um, it's actually something more associated with, um, I guess, Luciferianism and um, Satanism. So um, that's more of what's going on and, um, you know, that's what I wanted you all to think about. So that's part one of Sympathy for the Globalists, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll come back with part two. Thank you.